Good morning and a very warm welcome to BBC Radio Silent. Don't forget you can get in touch with the programme if you would like to. You can call us 0845 30 30 96 1. Tom is here to take your calls. Or, of course, you can text me 81333. Pops up in the screen in front of me. Begin your text with the word Solent, please. Or, of course, you can email to tim.dakin at bbc.co.uk. Now, I couldn't help but notice yesterday that there were fewer people in the town and around the shops near where i live and i suspect it's because we've reached that time of the year when the christmas expenditure on the credit card is literally coming home to roost and research by the post office says that 12 million people will be running up debts on their credit cards in the months to come not just to uh, finance special expenditure but on day-to-day living costs well mohammed mandani is from the al mizan charitable trust this is a muslim grant funder which supports disadvantaged people and deprived communities across the uk and he joins me now manzani good morning to you mohammed good morning mohammed good morning are you there are you there mohammed Let's try that one. Hello, Mohammed. Good <laughs> morning. I'm sorry, we're pulling the wrong button there. I do beg your pardon. Mohammed, first of all, let's, let's just um, do a little bit of revision because Islamic folk are not allowed to borrow money. Uh, according to Muslim tradition, um, we are not very encouraging of uh, paying large amounts of interest. So uh, traditionally, Muslim communities feel uncomfortable um, either sort of, you know, offering or taking loans um, that, you know, include interest. And certainly from our point of view as a, as a Muslim grant funder, um, apart from grants, we also do offer loans, but they are very much interest free. So the key thing then is, is not that um, for Muslims it's a question of not borrowing money, it's the interest element, the yeah. usury as it yeah. were, that's yeah. where the problem lies. Yeah. So how do you read the current situation with personal debt and people in many places turning to so-called payday loans with enormous rates of interest? Well, unfortunately, the figures that are out there at the moment indicate a, a reality of how difficult it is for so many people to survive on a day-to-day basis. As in, we hear countless stories of families who are restricted to one meal a day or who cannot afford warm clothes during the winter months. It's pretty tragic out there. So how does your organisation help? We offer grants and interest-free loans to to individuals and families who are struggling, um, particularly um, to support, you know, families who who are in desperate need of basic household goods like a cooker or a fridge because they cannot feed the family, or even if they're looking for um, access to some sort of vocational training uh, to improve their job prospects if um, if they're facing redundancy. And where does the money come from? Um, we are very grateful that the um, uh, funds of the Al Mizan Charitable Trust are, are generously donated by the British Muslim community. Uh, so we're entirely sort of reliant on, on donations, and the vast majority is funded by the British Muslim community. And are the recipients of your grants, Mohammed, are they all Muslims themselves? No. Um, we offer our grants and, and interest-free loans to, to absolutely anyone, irrespective of their faith or cultural background. Um, and in fact, that's not something we even look at when we receive an application. Our focus is very much about helping those who are in need. So this is a, a, a really wonderful example of the Muslim community r- reaching out to the whole of society. Well, I hope that we can continue the tradition of the Prophet Muhammad, um, who, who obviously is a role model for, for, many, for all of us Muslims, um, who, who very much encourage a kind of social justice and um, supporting those in our local communities, irrespective of their faith. If people would like to find out more, do you have a website? Where's the information? Yeah, um, you can log on to our website, which is www.almizantrust.org.uk, and you can find out more information. And presumably, if you just Google or go to any search engine and type in Al Mizan, which is A-L-M-I-Z-N, two separate words, it'll pop up. Yes, it will. Mohammed, thank you very much indeed for talking to us this morning on BBC Radio Selling. If you'd like to know more about that, simply Google Al Mizan, A-L, and that separate word, M-I-Z-A-N, Charitable Trust. <laughs> <laughs>